Hello friends, welcome to session 4 on projection of plane surfaces and we will continue with the top view starting problems. This is just a revision of what we have done in the last session that is session 3. Okay, this is how you should be trained. You see here, this is they will give x y line, uh, v p, h p, r p p and these are all the things if they give. Looking at the problem itself, you should be in a position to define the problem yourself. See here, it is a square lamina of size 40. Now here it is 40 by 30. That means it is an edge on HP rotated about this edge on HP such that it appears as a rectangle of 40 by 30 in the sides, in the top view. That means when you look from the top, you want the rectangle of size 40 by 30. For that, what should be the inclination of the lamina with HP? Okay. This is the thing what they've asked. That is why what you do, you first draw the top view front view. Since the top view is already known, you draw A, B, C, D. A, B and C, D, they are already in true length. You take 40, 40 and this will be 30 because they are given 40 by 30 rectangle. Okay. Then take the projectors up and uh, with the, this front view, 40 as the radius cut, you get this inclination to HP. For this inclination, 41 degrees, it looks like 40 by 30. Uh, rectangle in the top view. Then they say edge on HP is parallel to VP. You see here, when edge on HP is parallel to VP, you make AB parallel to XY line. That means this second stage top view and third stage top view will remain same because phi we have not changed. That 41 degree we have not changed. The top view will remain same. You can change it to any position. Okay. Now I have made it in this way as per the problem edge on HP parallel to VP. That's why I have made it like this. Okay. Move, copy, that is uh, move, copy, paste, rotate in such a way that AB is parallel to XY line or parallel to VP. Then get this one. Then I have written X1, Y1 line. I have drawn this. Can you observe? When it is like this, for RPP writing, that is left view on RPP, you are looking from here. C is near, C is nearer, D is away. C double dash, D double dash. B is, ne B is nearer, A is away. B double dash, bracket, A double dash. In that way, you are getting one side view as a line. This you should remember here afterwards. So many times you come across this problem. Whenever a line is seen, whenever a plane surface is seen as a line, it should be perpendicular to that plane. That means you clearly say this lamina in this position, in the final position, using change of position method, when edge on HP is parallel to VP, in this position, it is perpendicular to RPP with surface inclination of 41 degrees to HP and 49 degrees to VP. Okay. This is the thing. And you should always remember when you get a line in the side view, immediately you should say it is perpendicular to that particular plane. Okay. It is perpendicular to RPP. Now, square lamina in corner position, you just see. This is the thing I will tell you. Square lamina, no? When you are square lamina, when they say, when they give square lamina, square pyramid, square prism, or cube, and all that, you should first identify whether it is edge on HP or corner on HP. Now it is, if it is a corner on HP, for square lamina, edge position is different, corner position is different. So far we have done edge position. It is corner position. In the corner position, you see, as usual, I have done XY. This is VP. This is HP. Okay. I have drawn one uh, square in corner position. This is A. This is B bracket D. B is, uh, you are looking from here. B is nearer. D is away. B dash bracket D dash. This is C dash. Then when you tilt it, when you lift this, it is corner on HP with surface inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Even if you tilt it this way also, it is corner on HP and it can be any inclination to HP only. That means whether you lift A dash, if you lift A dash, it will be corner C on HP. If you lift C dash, it will be corner A dash on HP. That's why you can take any position. But in this square lamina, you should know very well, if they say corner on HP, you have to write to this position only. Okay. Edge on HP means what you have done in the earlier session, last session, you have to take one of the edges perpendicular to XY line. Now you have to take to this position only when, you, when a corner is on HP. Okay. And as you know, it is corner here, it is A and HP. Corner A, it is on HP. Okay. 
Now you see here a square lamina of size 40 40 mm has a corner on HP. Immediately you should take corner position with a diagonal contained in this corner inclined at 30 degrees to HP and the top view of this diagonal is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay, this is the problem. First, uh, a square lamina of size 40 has a corner on HP, no? Okay, first blindly without any worry, draw this 40 mm side square in corner position. Don't write edge position. You can uh, compulsorily write this A, B, C, D, A in this position. To draw this, this is 40 degree, 40 mm length under length, 40 mm and under angle plus 45. When you want to draw this, it is 40 mm minus 45. So that this angle is 90 degree, okay? And then BC 40 mm in alignment with this. And this is from C, since D has already been done, you 40 mm, you cut it here or take an alignment in that way, A, B, C, D, you complete, okay? Such that the internal angles for square lamina is 90 degree throat, okay? This is 40 minus 45. This is 40 plus 45 if you do and get C by alignment, get D by alignment. Or uh, once you get uh, uh, AD is uh, 40 plus 45, uh, AB 40 minus 45, then BC is 40, take alignment. From D also, DC, take DC 40 mm and alignment you fix so that this angle is minus 45, it will match with that. In that way, you are getting a square lamina in the corner position. Then A is C, B dash, B is C, D is away, B dash, D dash, this is C dash. In that way, square lamina you take. Now, as you see here, what you see here is the square lamina, AC is one diagonal, BD is one diagonal. Okay, in this position, AC diagonal is parallel to VP. What I am seeing in the front view is the true length of the diagonal AC. Okay, BD is anyway perpendicular to VP. Now, even if you tilt this lamina, it is AC which is in true length. That is A dash, C dash which is in true length. That is being tilted. That is why that this first stage front tube will be same as second stage front tube because we are moving it parallel to VP. Okay, see here. Now what you do is, A, same, take the same front tube, tilt it at 30 degree. That is move move, copy, paste and rotate in such a way that this is 30 degree. And as you see here, it is corner A is on HP. Corner A is on HP with surface or diagonal AC. Please follow. Diagonal AC is in true length because AC is parallel to VP. Okay, AC is parallel to VP. That is why A dash C dash is in true length. Since A dash C dash is in true length, it is the diagonal AC is inclined at 30 degrees to HP or surface inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Then you get the points and get the top view. A, B, C, D, you get this. Now, as you see here, in this, all edges, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, none of them are in true length. And even this A, C, A dash, C dash, that is A, C, diagonal A, C, which was in true length here, has lost true length here. This is the apparent length. Can you follow? because it is inclined at 30 degrees. Okay. Now, if you rotate this plane surface, okay, if you rotate this plane surface in top view, it, it has a corner, it will be rotated about a corner A on HP. Okay. You can rotate to any position. Since the angle with HP is constant, the top view remains same. Now, what I've done here, you just see. What I've done is, second stage top view and third stage top view is same. But only thing is, in the third stage top view, what you observe is this AC you know, is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. This AC, you know very well, it is not the true length of the diagonal, it is the apparent length. That is why what we say is, as per the problem, the top view of the diagonal containing the corner on HP, top view of the diagonal containing the corner on HP means it is AC only. The top view of the diagonal containing the corner is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. In that way, you, you move, copy, rotate in such a way that AC is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. This, this is the same. Okay. Then you take the positions, then take the projectors to this. Then take the points. On this, you should get C. On this, you should get B and D. On this, you should get A. Okay. 
and join all this. Okay. Now the problem gets finished. You see here the problem is if you look at this one only square lamina of sides 40 has a corner on HP. Diagonal contain a corner inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Keeping the diagonal inclined at 30 degrees to HP, we have rotated about a corner in such a way that we have given the top inclination of 45 degrees to VP. In that way, in this complex position, how it is seen in the front view, I have written here, this is the final front view, this is the final top view, this is change of position method by which we have completed a problem under corner position of a square lamina. Okay. This is, uh, as per VTU, it is a 10th problem in their uh, manual. That is uh, primer. Okay. Now it is, you see here, now you come to this very important thing. Uh, this is pentagonal lamina. Pentagonal lamina, as usual, please be careful. XY line, VP, HP. Pentagonal lamina, like triangular lamina, edge corner position are same. Okay. Edge position and corner position. If you write like this, both edge can be managed, edge, edge on HP can be managed, corner on HP can be managed. You just see, XY line, VP, HP, this is perpendicular, this is VP, this is HP and all that. I have drawn one pentagon here. When you are looking from here, B dash, A dash, this is C dash, C dash and this is D dash. When they say edge on HP, as you see here, this is DX is the median. This is dx is parallel to vp. As a result, this is in two length. Even if you tilt, since it is tilted parallel to vp only, okay, this front view remains same. This front view and this front view should remain same. That is why when you tilt it, lifting d dash, it is clear that it is edge on hp with surface inclined at 30 degrees to hp. Did you follow that? This is edge on hp with surface inclined at 30 degrees to hp. If they say corner, no, corner on HP, don't do things again. Same thing you do. Instead of B dash, A dash, you see that D dash is on X line. Same front you take and tilt such that move, copy, rotate in such a way that D dash is on X line such that the surface is inclined at 30 degree or median inclined at 30 degree. See here, here, edge AB on HP. Here, corner D on HP. This is the basic positioning what you can never, never forget. See here, in the examination, pentagonal lamina means you write this uh, with one of the edges perpendicular to XY line, uh, which we'll be doing in the next sessions and all that. Okay. And name it as A, B, C, D and all that. Edge on HP means see that B dash, A dash is on XY line. Corner is on HP means see that D dash is on XY line. And whatever may be the inclination you manage. See here, please remember this is the basics. This gets converted into pentagonal pyramid later on, then pentagonal prism later on. For all of them, the basics is this. You have to know how exactly it has to be started. This is the basics on pentagonal lamina, edge corner position, you say. See here, you, at this stage, I'll repeat anyway. For triangular lamina, edge and corner position is same, like pentagonal lamina. Okay. But for square lamina and hexagonal lamina, what we'll do later on, okay, square lamina, you know already, edge position is different, corner position is different. In the same way, hexagonal lamina also, edge position will be different, corner position will be different. Okay, this will be doing as problems in the next sessions to come. Okay, this is the end of session four. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.